Stage timers are an integral part of any live stream. And as you start to get to the more advanced live streams, you'll start to find that events, anything live, will typically need some sort of structure. The best way to keep that structure and keep things moving along is by using some sort of confidence monitor at the foot of the stage, or perhaps maybe in the back of the room, maybe built into a teleprompter. And using this confidence monitor will serve many purposes. It might be just a teleprompter, it might be a teleprompter and a stage timer. It could be a program feed so that you can return the live feed so people speaking on stage can see what's live. There's so many different usage cases. But where the stage timer really comes into play is in managing your show and making sure that people stay on time. It also really helps to partner up with your run of show template, whether that's in an Excel sheet or however you design your run of show. And it allows you to build out the show entirely based on time. So you can time out each individual segment and then you can adjust that time accordingly. It's also a really nifty feature if you're trying to send some messages to the people that are running the event, like you have 30 seconds left in this segment, or you're over time and you need to speed up, or you need to move on to the next segment. So in this video, I wanted to show off a really cool tool that is free on the base end, so anybody can sign up and use this. And then it does have some really nice features if you go into the paid side. I do not have any affiliation with this tool, so just so you know, I get zero kickback from this. I just wanna show this off for you because I think it's an amazing tool that you might bring into your setups. So what is this tool? It's stagetimer.io, and you can head on over to the link down below in the description. Again, it's not an affiliate link. I don't get a kickback for this, but this is something that I've been using both in my live streams before I had a full-time job and also in the live streams that I perform with my full-time job. So this is a great tool and it allows me to put a countdown timer up on a confidence monitor. So let me just kind of dive in and show you how this all works. I'm gonna give you the rundown. I can't go through every single feature today because it would have me here for the longest time ever, but I'm gonna show you some of the basics and why this is a really nifty tool for live streamers and live event people to use. Let's dive in. So this is stagetimer.io and you can see our good friend John Barker from here to record. He's done some great videos on this. So I highly recommend if you're looking for some more advanced trainings on this, that is definitely your guy. Once you make an account, and again, you can do this for free, you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks just like this. You're gonna have to create a team if it's your first time ever. So I just named my team after me, but if you're a company, you can create a team of one. It doesn't really matter. It's just something you have to do to get into this dashboard. And just for any of those that are wondering what's the price for this, if you do pay for this, right now I can have up to three connected devices or three timers on this starter plan and a team of one. So I can't really have anyone else on my team just using this free plan right here. And you can see here the differences. There's a starter plan, a pro plan, and a premium plan, depending on what you need. But there's a very good chance that the pro plan will give you everything that you're looking for. So once you're in this dashboard, the first thing you wanna do is create a room. So I'm gonna generate this room, and this is kind of like my event. So I might name this live event and I'm recording this on today's June 27th at the time of recording so I'm just going to name my event uh, for this room and within this I can essentially build out my whole run of show so I can see what the timer is going to preview as over here in the left and we're starting with a default timer of 10 minutes so let's say our starting time for the event is maybe 9 a.m. so we'll select nine and then we'll go to our minutes you can even go down to the seconds and then i'm going to choose am and so that's our start time i'll hit save and now we can kind of track the whole show as it goes so this is really cool it'll kind of tell you like when you're running over or under you can kind of see that down here in this bottom left hand corner but let's assume that my first session is a welcome and introduction so i'm going to click on this and title this my welcome uh, you can select a speaker if you have specific speakers. So I'll just say John Smith is my welcome speaker for this. There's a few other things. You can leave some notes and there's this labeling feature here so you can enter labels and color code it. There's very cool organizational things that, again, I'm not gonna dive too far into, 
but this is our first timer. Uh, it's 10 minutes and I can hit play and this timer will get started. Red means that it's activated and you can see this preview over here. So nine minutes and 54 seconds is left and so on. It's just counting down. Now, of course, you're probably wondering how do I find this timer or send this to a screen because I don't want somebody to see this whole like dashboard and, and everything that's going on behind the scenes. I just want them to see this timer. Well, I'm so happy you asked. There's a couple of things you can do here. One, you can just hit this little guy right here and this is going to bring up a brand new window. So it's, it's a new tab right now. I can drag this out as its own window. And this window can be output from your computer over an HDMI cable into your switcher. So you can see it in your multi-view, but then using your switcher, you can also route this to an external monitor. So if you have a confidence monitor that's at the base of the stage, you can send this feed there as long as it's going into your switcher. You could also send it directly. So if you just took an HDMI cable out of your computer, you could send that all the way up to the front of the room to whichever monitor you're using. But note that as I have this timer running, if I hit play, you'll see over here in this window, it is activating this timer. And of course I can control it all from this dashboard and this backend without anyone seeing it. So this is really the big thing that I'm using this for is I'm running the entire show from this dashboard. And then of course, if we need to start over, like I can just go back to the beginning of this and it'll pause me right back at this 10 minute mark. And then let's go ahead and make a few other timers real quick. I'm gonna leave this guy up over here in the corner so you can see as I'm going through this, how this is going to look. So maybe after our 10 minute welcome introduction, let's say we have our first speaker or presentation. I'm gonna hit save on that time. Let's say they're 30 minutes. And this speaker is going to be uh, keynote talk one. Perhaps that speaker is Jane Doe. I'll hit save and I've got my next timer. So that's a 30 minute timer. Let's do a couple more in here. So maybe we've got a 10 minute break. Uh, let's call this coffee break. Maybe there's like a coffee networking break. So I'll hit save. And then if we have the paid version, we can of course add more timers. So just note that if you're using the free version, you're mostly stuck with just using one singular timer, maybe two or three of them, uh, but that's all you're going to have. And then of course, if I wanna jump from this 10 minute timer to the 30 minute timer, and I wanna select this one, I wanna be able to activate this one by just hitting play. And now you'll see it updates live on the spot. So I can jump between these timers, right? Like let's say you have an event and there's only 10 minute segments, 15 minute segments, and 30 minute segments you can create those three different timers with the free plan, and then you can send that to your external monitor. Now let's say this 30 minute timer is something that we want to speed up. We wanna reduce it by a minute or two because maybe we're behind on time. I can actually select this minus one minute button and it will instantly subtract one minute every time I click it from that particular timer. So it will change its duration and reduce it by a minute. We can do that live on the spot if somebody's running over or if we need to expand it, we can add a minute to their time simply by clicking the plus one minute button. If we want to advance to the next timer, we can just skip right ahead altogether and hit this advance button. Now we're on our next timer and it automatically started for me when I advanced to it. There's also some settings here that you can really dive into. So there's like a starting time and you can actually link this timer to certain actions and things. You can schedule all this stuff out so that it practically runs itself. Typically, I'm communicating with my client to see where we are in timing. So usually I will add or subtract time based on what the client is looking for. So I'm gonna be talking with them and saying, hey, are, I noticed we're running over. You know, Do we need to take some time away from the clock? Okay, cool. We'll take three minutes off. So boom, boom, boom. We've just taken three minutes off of the timer. Super easy. So. That's kind of the basic rundown. Now there's a whole bunch of other features, like let's say we're really down to the wire here, maybe we're down to like 30 seconds. So let me pause this for just a moment. Let's get this guy down to say one minute. And we're gonna start that one minute at the beginning. So we don't have a ton of time here, right? We're getting down towards the end. We wanna catch their attention up on stage. You can actually hit this flash button 
and it will flash that timer to them. And you'll see a preview of it here, but you'll also see it in that screen. So you know that you're kind of getting their attention by doing this, being like, hey, we've only got 40 seconds left. You gotta hurry up and finish off your segment. So there's a lot of fun features built into this. If you need to black out the timer, like let's say you're on a break or you're just taking the timer away while you're modifying it, like let's say this one minute timer is almost done. I wanna hit pause and update this to maybe let's call it five minutes. So five, hit save. I'm gonna start that timer again. I can now remove that blackout and now I've bumped it back up. So we were 40 seconds into the one minute. Now we are 40 seconds into the five minutes. So it kind of saved where we are. If we had to start it back at the top of the five minute session, we can just jump it back here. So super easy, you just jump it back to the beginning, hit play, now we've got five minutes again. But all of that stuff can happen behind the scenes here while you have it blacked out to your presenter. So they're not getting confused about what's happening. You just go into the back end, fix this, take your blackout off, and then you are good to go. So as you can see here, Really, really cool feature, super easy for running and managing a show. Of course, if you have the paid version of this, you could build out your entire show in this one platform. And there's so much more that you can do with it. So if you wanted to you know, readjust these segments, you can click and drag and drop them. There's some things over here that you can do as far as making sure that like you're queuing up your finish time and when this is going to go till. So, you know, if you started at 9 a.m., like this is keeping track of when we should be finishing these three segments. So what's really nice is like, once you get into programming out a full event, you can see that over under and you'll know, like if you're scheduled to end at four o'clock and you've already gone like five minutes over, it's gonna say your over under is five minutes. So you're gonna know how far you're going to be late compared to the original scheduled time. One other thing that I wanna show you, I'm gonna pause this timer for just a moment, is this share button. And this is really important. So you can share the viewer link, right? Like this is a link that you could share and bring up on any computer. So this link right down here. So this link is public. If you're trying to plan out your whole timer in advance and maybe you have an Excel sheet or some sort of resource where you're tracking everything, this is the link that you can put in there because that's the link that you want brought up on the computer, on the confidence monitor, anywhere that you want people to see it. It's also a nice little tool that you can give to your client. Like I know some clients will place people in the front row with little signs that say like one minute or five minutes and they're just the person that's there to kind of manage that person speaking on stage. Maybe this can work in conjunction with them so they could keep it up on their phone or on their tablet or even just on a laptop in their lap and they can see how much time is left and they can kind of signal like hey wrap it up you know or something to, to let them know like if you need to stretch it right i've seen people do this for like stretch it out like make your talk a little bit longer to buy us some time or tighten it up like we don't have a lot of time left so i've seen people work in conjunction with this timer so that shareable link is great for that but they have these other features like a controller link or a moderator link and each of them has different features and what they can control but it's really fun to give those out to the client and empower them to help you manage the event so that you can work your best magic and be the live streamer the switcher the person who is managing all of the camera operators and you don't necessarily always have to be the person that's managing the showtime. So I wanted to show off this great tool to you. One, because it's free. Anybody can go and just make an account today and get started with a couple of brief timers. I think it's an awesome way to manage your events and make sure that they go on schedule and everyone will be way happier for it. You'll also find that like people will start to leave the room if people go over too late. So you don't want that to happen. You wanna help your client and empower them to run a more successful event. And then also, if you get the paid version, it's going to be a tool that's going to really help you fine tune and manage your events. And it's something that I think your client is going to love. It's a recommendation that you can make to them if they're not as familiar with how to properly run an event because there truly is a science to keeping people engaged, keeping them happy. So I think this is a wonderful tool. It's stagetimer.io. Go ahead and check it out. I've linked to it down below in the description. And if you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and I will see you next time.